When we think of Swiss cheese, the image most of us have is a semi-hard cheese with large holes. But there is so much more to Switzerland's cheeses than this. Keep watching to discover our 9 best Swiss cheeses. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the little bell for notifications. Number 1. Emontale Let's start with the Swiss cheese that actually has large eyes. Yes, those holes in the cheese are called eyes. And this one is a traditional cow's milk cheese called Emontale. Weighing in at 120 kilograms, Emontale is Switzerland's largest cheese. And it is also one of the largest cheeses in the world. Effectively, local cheese makers release wheels of this cheese for consumption at different ages. At four months, the young cheese is mild and nutty. By eight months, called Reserve, it becomes much fruitier. Finally, at 12 months, it develops a full flavoured complexity and a crumblier texture. Number 2. Appenzella. Next, we have the cheese that the locals affectionately call Switzerland's most flavoursome cheese. Appenzella is a semi-hard cheese that finds its roots in the Alpstein region of the Swiss Appenzell Alps. Due to the intense herbal mixture it is washed in, Appenzella has quite a unique flavour. As the cheese ages, its flavour intensifies and gets more complex. Hence, at three months, it is mild and savoury with hints of herbs and flowers. On the other hand, at nine months, Appenzella has more robust flavours of herbs and spices. And its paste is firmer and dotted with scrumptious cheese crystals. Number three, Heilerhocker. What's not to love about this extravagant Swiss cheese? Of course, there's the creepy kid on the label. But our affection for this cheese from St. Gallen goes well beyond the creep factor. All things considered, Heilerhocker is a fairly young cheese. In 2003, local cheesemaker Walter Reis wanted to start making a completely new cheese. He used his expertise as an Appenzeller cheesemaker to craft this wonder made with pure jersey milk and a secret blend of wine, herbs and spices. After maturing for eight long months in a cellar, this cheese develops a nutty aroma and a malty and sweet flavour with a spicy finish. Actually, Heilerhocker means sitting in the cellar in Swiss German, and it is an apt name for more than one reason. Number four, Le Gruyère. Le Gruyère might just be Switzerland's most famous cheese. While its origins date back to the early 12th century, it is still made to this day using the same traditional methods. Moreover, only a select number of artisanal cheesemakers in a handful of cantons in Switzerland are allowed to produce Gruyère and they always use the finest local raw unpasteurized cow's milk. Between six and nine months of age, this famous cheese has a soft and refined taste with sweet notes. From 10 months onwards, it is referred to as reserve and has a full flavored and aromatic taste. Some wheels will be matured up to 18 or even 24 months for even more robust flavors. Number five, Vachin Fribourgeois. At number five, we've got one of the most criminally underrated melting cheeses in the world. Vachin Cru Bourgeois is a Swiss semi-soft cheese made with raw cow's milk in the cantons of Vaux and Fribourg. Presently, there are only a small number of artisanal cheesemakers who are authorized to make this cheese. As a matter of fact, they release it for consumption at different ages. You can enjoy the classic Vachin Fruit Bourgeois at 6 to 12 weeks and the Rustic at 12 to 25 weeks. Overall, this cheese is an excellent table cheese with its flavour ranging from buttery to nutty. However, it truly comes into its own when melted in a fondue. Actually, it is a traditional ingredient in fondue moitié moitié. This classic Swiss recipe consists of half Gruyère and half Vachin Free Bourgeois. Number six, Tête de Moine. It's party time. If you're looking for a statement cheese for your next gathering, then look no further than Tête de Moine. Tête de Moine is a semi-hard cheese made in the Bernese Jura Mountains of Switzerland. At two months, Tête de Moine develops a semi-hard texture with a rusty red natural rind. Its aroma is quite pungent, especially when the top of the rind is cut. On the palate, this cheese is nutty, fruity, and aromatic. This unique cheese is best enjoyed shaved. You can do this using a sharp knife, or you can use a giro. This ingenious cutter which has been specially designed for this purpose. 
Number seven, Sprinz. Number seven is the oldest cheese on our list in terms of maturation period. Sprinz is an extra hard cheese from central Switzerland that boasts a traditional dating back centuries. Presently, only 26 select valley and alpine creameries produce it from top quality local unpasteurized milk. Unsurprisingly, this flavorsome cheese needs time to mature before it can be enjoyed. Indeed, the youngest wheels of Sprinz are released for consumption at 18 months. The longer the cheese is matured, the more aromatic and spicy it tastes. At 18 months, you can slice Sprinz or shave it into rolls. However, it is only from 24 months onwards that Sprinz develops its full flavor. The locals love to serve it as an aperitif or broken up into pieces, milkly, on a cheese board. Number eight, Lechivas. Lechivas is a seasonal hard cheese made using only unpasteurized cow's milk. Currently, just over 100 alpine creameries in the Vaux Alps make this celebrated cheese from the months of May to October. To this day, they process the raw milk on site and use an open fire. In many ways, Lechivas is made as Gruyere was 100 years ago. Local farmers make this cheese only when the cows are doing their summer grazing in alpine pastures. Moreover, they still use traditional copper cauldrons over open wood fires. Lechivas has a semi-hard texture with a fruity, slightly nutty flavor. Actually, its flavor varies significantly depending on the soil of the different pastures. It is yellow ivory in color and slightly sticky due to its saltiness. It is aged for five to 13 months before it is eaten. Number nine. Raclette du Valais. The final cheese on our list might just be the most spectacular one of them all. Raclette du Valais AOP is a semi-hard, full-fat, unpasteurized cheese. It is creamy and aromatic with a hearty taste. The term raclette refers both to this type of cheese and the dish it has inspired. Actually, the name comes from the French word raclette, which means to scrape. And you've guessed it. The best way to serve this cheese is melted and scraped onto a plate of boiled potatoes. One final interesting fact about this particular cheese is that it is the one that popularized the production of raw milk mountain cheeses in Switzerland. What's your favorite Swiss cheese? We hope that you enjoyed our list of the best Swiss cheeses. Without a doubt, Switzerland is a cheese making powerhouse and they produce some of the world's best semi-hard and melting cheeses. Did your favorite Swiss cheese make our list? Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video. Did you enjoy it? Give us a like. Do you love learning about cheese? Subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Until next time, praise be cheeses.